All right, this came sooner than expected, but yes, we got a big update for Enshrouded, and King Games has already added a lot of new stuff to it. Uh, the entire list is quite long, so I won't be going over the entire list. I'll go over the highlights and some extra stuff um, and some things that they updated. So first off, let's start with the awesome Hello Halls dungeons. And yes, it's dungeons because in every biome, there is a dungeon. Uh, enemies within are like level corresponding to the, the biome you are in. And I've done the first one and like it's low level, but it's already fun to go to. And I, I, I can see them getting more difficult at higher levels, which is really nice. There's also new rewards in the dungeons. Um, there's Hello Hall's building blocks I got so far and I can't really remember, but uh, yada yada, ectoplasm something. Um, so yes, and also new enemies can be found around the world and also in the dungeons, which add a, like a nice variety. And that's really nice to have. I've already seen them in the world. Um, the variety I've seen so far are skeletal enemies and they look awesome. They look really cool though. And also in the hollow halls uh, dungeons, you can find a new survivor, which is really cool. I like the, the way that the survivor looks. For crafting, we are able to unlock a new crafting station um, with new recipes, also uh, new weapons, building blocks, furniture, uh, decorative props, and more as they say in the update log. If we go to the farm now, we can get potted plants to add some more flavor to our builds and bases, which is really nice. Um, you do need a kiln for this, so make sure you get the kiln first. And um, when we visit the carpenter, we can now get those beautiful rounded doors and windows for a totally non-Hobbit aesthetic in our builds. <laughs> and also we can now finally sit on all the nice furniture. The seed beds now also allow us to uh, grow additional three seedlings, which is nice. I like that. And if you go to the alchemist now, you'll get a new quest line that leads to new content. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna dive back into it really soon. I just dove into it to taste the Hello Hells dungeons and um, uh, see some other stuff. I haven't done this yet, so really cool. And the town of Willowcross in Revelwood has been completely reworked. I've not seen this yet, but I, I like, as I said previously, I'm diving back in, also going to Willowcross and see how that changed. And they also worked on a smoother high FPS gameplay um, as they got rid of like the 60 Hertz limitation. And it's really noticeable. Um, as I told like in the video before, I, I don't have like a, a really awesome PC, so I cranked down the, um, the, the graphics a little bit to get more FPS and like you just even then you notice it just feels way nicer right now to uh, just to walk around and, and the world around you it's like way better right now so that's a that's a really good update right there so these are the highlights that they highlighted them themselves which is really nice and awesome man um, really good job already some extra highlights for me at a ping function that has been added and works well enough for now uh, you ping on the map and after a few seconds it disappears and that's it you cannot take it away it just disappears by itself content of the magical chest now can be used in crafting stations and also items can now be crafted in stacks which is really nice if you have a lot of crafting to do for 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 buildings or even arrows and stuff like that potions um do it in stacks really awesome really good really good addition right there they also reworked the loot menu um I didn't have a big issue with it, but it does feel better now. Looting is easier, quicker, and nicer to go through. So um, that's there as well. And of course, stack splitting has been uh, improved with this update. And it was kind of like what I said with slider. And yeah, so you can just pick your amount with the slider or have it in half. Or I thought I saw like a plus one, minus one if you want to be really nitpicky about how you split your items. The update also has a lot of uh, fixes as well. And luckily I I haven't had any problems with it, uh, at least as far as I know. So I'm happy about it, but it's good to see that Keen Games is addressing all these issues and working on them and really, really improving the game and the gameplay as well. I would say dive into the game and enjoy the update yourselves. Uh, big thumbs up to Keen Games. They already I didn't expect the first update to be this big and it's really nice. Leave a comment with your favorite update or like thing you were waiting for, if it's in the update or not. Like the video if you like it. 
subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you on the next one bye bye